Hey everybody, I'm Dr. White, the founder of the Business Analysis Doctor. If you don't know me, I provide business analysis coaching and training to business analysts all over the world by helping them excel their BA careers by getting their business analysis certification and expanding their business analysis capabilities. I've been a business analyst for over 10 years. I've got my CBAP certification as well as a doctorate in business administration. Today, I'll be giving you seven tips on how to better comprehend the BABOT guide. Anyone who's pursuing their IIBA certification, whether it's the CBAP, the CCBA, or the ECBA, will need to be able to master the BABOT guide. Most people find the BABOT guide pretty intimidating because of the volume, in addition to the fact that it's a pretty dry read. So let's get started so you can get on the path to successfully clearing your exam. Tip number one, increasing your BABOC terminology. Learning something new requires learning key terms in order to fully understand the text as a whole. BABOC provides a short list of key terms in addition to a glossary in the back of about 200 terms to help you get familiarized with this terminology. I have a resource to help you with this. The Business Analysis Doctor Glossary provides double the amount of terms that are defined in the BABOC glossary itself. It includes terms that are found in the BABOC in addition to terms that might appear on your certification exam. I'll include a link to this resource below. Tip number two, utilize introductions. The BABOC introduction is a great way to get familiarized with the overall content that you're gonna be presented with. In addition, the very, there's a section that describes the structure of the BABOC guide. Utilizing this will help you navigate through the material without getting lost, but it also helps you get a feel for what you should be understanding when you're looking at the purpose, the descriptions, and the elements when, within each knowledge area or task. Also, be sure to review chapter introductions. These give you a general idea of the information you're about to receive, so it prepares your brain to be more receptive to the new information you're about to get. Tip number three, have a learning objective. Every learning or training activity starts with some type of goal and then is further broken down into various learning objectives. Various studies have shown that having clear learning objectives is essential for effective comprehension and retention of information. A tactic you can use to facilitate this is to simply turn the headings of BABOC into questions. After reading each passage or section, ask the, question, ask the question to yourself to determine or confirm whether or not you're able to answer it. I have a resource for you for this tip as well. The Business Analysis Dr. Babak V3 Workbook has learning objectives for each section of the Babak Guide, as well as places where you can take notes. As you read through the Babak Guide, you can verify whether or not you're comprehending the information and retaining the information that's being presented to you throughout the guide. A link to this resource is provided below. Number four, compare the BABOC content to your own knowledge. Generally, as you read through information, you either categorize it as information you agree with or information that you don't agree with. In addition, you can organize it as new information or information you already know. For the BABOC content that you already know, conceptualize how you may have used this information in the past in a practical setting for new information. Think of how you could have or should have applied these concepts into a practical setting. Think of what the possible outcomes may have been if you had applied those concepts and how the results are different from what happened in an actual setting. Tip number five, create case studies. Tip number five is a more specific example of tip number four. For most learners, learning doesn't actually occur until you actually apply it. Case studies are a great way to apply 
theories and concepts in a practical setting or real life scenario. I recommend taking a project or an initiative that you're currently involved in and using that as your case study. Better yet, apply the Babbock concepts to live projects and initiatives and note the outcomes. Being able to relate information to situations you're familiar with will greatly increase retention of new concepts. Tip number six, take handwritten notes. While taking notes may seem like a given, it's essential to take handwritten notes instead of typing them. The physical act of handwriting notes requires your brain to organize and synthesize information at a much deeper level than typing does. This makes retention and comprehension much more effective. Also, various studies have been shown to demonstrate that students who take handwritten notes significantly outperform students who take notes by typing. Be sure that your handwritten notes are organized and clear so that you can easily access them when you need to refer back to them. Tip number seven, read the Babbock content at least three times. If the thought of reading 500 plus pages intimidates you, introduce yourself to the material by getting yourself a study guide. A good study guide is much more concise and less daunting than the full Babbock guide itself. The Business Analysis Dr. V3 study guide is less than half the volume of the full Babbock guide and includes all of the key content. Alternatively, if you're brave enough to read the full Babbock guide first, try to do it within a month. You'll need to be able to allocate daily reading time in order to accomplish this. After taking three or four simulations and studying the answer explanations, go through and read the Babbock guide a second time. Here you'll notice that certain concepts will have more meaning to you. This is because you have more context to rely on. In addition, I'd recommend taking your detailed notes during this go around. That's because it'll take less effort for your brain to absorb and retain the information. Therefore, you'll have more capacity to focus on active note taking. After completing a prep course or a study group, go through and read the Babbock guide a third time. This time, the information should be much more comprehensive to you. This is because you have much more context from all of the activities you've been doing in the previous steps. Now you should be able to put all of the puzzle pieces together and have a holistic understanding of the Babbock guide itself. So there you have it. These are your seven tips to better comprehend the Babbock guide. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content. Also, be sure to visit my website at thebadoc.com. That's T-H-E-B-A-D-O-C.com. Well, thanks for watching the video. Until next time.